Hi, Michelle here from Happy Scrap Girl Designs. Welcome to the Designer Tips and Tricks tutorial, Four Ways to Use Transparencies. When designers make papers, we try to keep them interesting. We can do that with different patterns, different textures, and with variations in color. Some of the different texture options are cardboard, cardstock, craft paper. A lot of designers like to use a shabby overlay as a, to help get them some color variations and some textures. And um, transparencies are becoming popular now. So I thought I would show you how to use some of these transparencies. I'm including a link to grab this free transparency so that you can follow along with a tutorial if you'd like. It's part of a new set I have coming out called Transparent Mess. So the first thing we're going to do is open it up and you can see that it's a PNG file. It's 12 by 12. Um, the black area is obviously not completely solid. It's a little bit transparent and then there's the transparent area back here where all of your colors are going to show through and I'll put a white behind this so you can see a little bit how it looks when there's a solid color behind it. Okay, I'm going to show you four ways that we can use these transparencies. The first way is as an overlay to add variation without distorting your color swatches. So I'm going to open up here. I have a set of CU chevrons and this is from my set and it's number five. And I'm going to put the transparency freebie right over the top of it. And I actually am going to change, whoops, I'm going to start it as normal here. And I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And I'm going to lower the opacity and the fill. And that just gives us some great color variation here. And it doesn't really change the other colors in my pattern that I've picked already. And that's great because if you've ever used a shabby overlay, like this one is just from my Simply Shabby set number five. I actually love shabby overlays, but sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to work with, especially if you have white areas like this, along with darker areas like this. And I'm going to show you a, an example here. I'm just going to change this to soft light, just like we did with the transparency. Oops, actually, I'm going to change that to heart overlay. There we go. And you can see how much the color changes with this. It went from some richer colors to really washed out colors and it's really not the look that I'm looking for and it doesn't really go with my kit colors anymore. So in order for me to get this right I would have to play a lot with the levels and um, maybe change some of the colors in the background and darken them so that I could get this to work just right. But with the transparency all I have to do is change the opacity just lower it a little bit if I want just to get the look that I'm going for and obviously I'm going to add some other textures in here to, to mix this up a little bit but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use this without changing your colors. Okay next I want to show you how to use an overlay to create a shabby or distressed look. Here I'm going to use the same color overlays the pattern that I had And then I'm going to put the transparency freebie over the top of it. And I'm going to make a new layer right above the transparency freebie. And I'm going to fill it in with a slightly off-white color and clip it to the transparency freebie. And now you can see um, that it's not looking quite right. It's kind of just looking like another layer or somebody threw paint on here. I'm going to change this to... I think I had this on lighten. There we go. And that kind of blends in a little bit more, let some of the colors underneath show. It looks a little bit distressed. This probably isn't the right style, exactly right style transparency to use on this pattern. Uh, it would probably look better, let's see, if I were to use like an edger 
here, this is from my page editors set seven and it's overlay number five. And again, I'm going to put this on lighten and I'm going to clip a white color to it. And it kind of looks like the edges are a little bit sanded and that there's a core from the paper showing through. And I think that's a great look for papers. It's really fun. Scrappers love that. Again, if you were to try to do this look with a shabby overlay, I have this one here on Lighten. It really changes the colors in the whole entire paper and it just doesn't work quite right. That's a great reason to use a transparency on this. The third way to use transparencies is as a clipping mask to blend two papers or patterns together. This is, can get you, you can get a really fun look with this. I'm going to take um, this solid color paper, well semi-solid color paper from um, Winter Woodland Kit. Uh, it's in the bonus paper set if you're wondering. And I'm going to put, again this is another page edger that I have from set four. And I'm going to bring in another patterned paper here and just clip it right to the the transparency to use it like a mask. And it kind of looks like you've either um, sanded through and, and you're showing another paper. It looks like the two our papers are kind of one. And that's a fun look for scrappers to use. You can use, um, let me grab this other transparency over here. And we'll put it right on top of that example. And we'll clip this to it again and close this. And you can see, you know, this is maybe not quite the right, maybe we can put this one in the back, put this one in the front. There, and that looks a little bit better there. Uh, it's just a great way to blend a couple of different papers or a couple of different patterns and get another fun look for your kit designs. Okay, the fourth way to use transparencies is you can use them as a clipping mask for a layer style. And you can again get some really great fun looks with them. Again, I'm going to take this bonus paper from Winter Woodland and I'm going to put a page edger on it. And then I'm just going to use a layer style. I have a cardboard layer style here. And I'm just going to click that and it, it just looks like it has um, sanded cardboard edges on it and that can be really fun. You can try it with different types of layer styles, like maybe if you had a smaller element shape with uh, transparency over it, it might be great to use a metal style on it. Um, I'm sure you can think of all different kinds of styles to use on it, but this will give you some more really fun looks. I love using shabby overlays to create texture and depth in my page color variations, but I'm starting to love transparencies even more. They're just so much easier to use and they're quicker and faster and there seems to be so many more ways that we can use them. Hopefully this has got your thinking cap on and giving you some ideas on ways to use them. If you're looking for more transparencies, you can find several sets in the Scrap Orchard store. I know that Shell has a few sets of painted overlays and Emily Card has some ink splattered commercial used overlays as well. I have some page edgers and there will be a set of transparent mess in the store soon. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions you can contact me at happyscrapgirl at live.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.